Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. Weekly update coming right at you. Jake, you've already said we got a lot going on. You got notes. That's the teleprompter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we, uh, what we got going this week, man? Well, first of all, it it's, is, not, it's not raining. It, it is when... At, no, 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 no. By the time they see this. No, by the time you see it, it's, it's not, not raining. raining. And it's not cold. Yeah, that's true. It's not ice. I got to turn the heat lamp off on Come the on, water wheel. Come Finally. on, baby. Come on. What's yeah, like? so What's like? this Sunday, we got a lot of things going on. We got this fourth Sunday of the month. So that's uh, Intro to Summit, formerly known as Membership, meets in room A102. You need to make sure to uh, let me know. Jake at SummitHeightsFellowship.com, or uh, if you're here on Sunday, come find me after the service. We'll, we'll, we'd love for you to be able to be in there. At, that, we let you in on the secret sauce. Secret sauce. Of Summit Heights Fellowship. You are, learn, feed, are y'all feeding them? No, the not feeding sauce, them. No, no, no. We're just going to teach our statements, our strategy, and our structure. So if you're going to give them the secret sauce and you're not going to yeah. feed them, then what are they going to do with the secret sauce? They get to take it home, be it to go sauce. To go to go so, so what do you serve that on? It, it's in a folder. It's a green folder. It has a lot of paperwork that in it. saucy to me. So that's going on. And then also in room A101, Women Facing Cancer Together has their first in-person yep. meeting of 2024. Yep. Sherry Sims and uh, Pam Prouse. And, uh, what a great ministry. Let me know if you need to be get in touch with either one of those ladies. Or you can just show up. They would love to have you Sunday yeah. In person meeting, great ministry great. there. Um, the Sapa Now. We do have the Sapa Now for students 6th through 12th grade. Oh, Get break. signed up. Go to our website, go to the events tab, scroll down, you'll see the Sapa Now. Uh, parents, if you've got any questions on that, uh, most of those questions are answered right there. We're making some adjustments to the schedule. Uh, that may be different than what you see on the website, but the big thing is, is get your student registered. Uh, your kids uh, on Wednesday night are being handed QR codes. They're being handed yeah. as, uh, packets. Uh, I just printed out, this is Wednesday, and so I'm getting ready for Wednesday night. I'm going to be at youth tonight. I think cool. you're going to be I'll there. I'll be there. Uh, I just printed out 60 QR codes that I'm going to go around and hand out. So, so hey, two things, because I have a teenage daughter in the youth ministry, um, and she rarely communicates with That's me. That's right. That's right. So when your kid comes home from Wednesday night, you got to ask them questions. Like, hey, I know they're sending stuff home about the cycle now. I know they're sending stuff home. Just go register. QR just go register codes. Kids. That's what give me do. the stuff they're sending home with you. That's what we do. We just yeah. go register. Them. Yeah. I mean, our kids tell us all the time, oh, you better register. Yeah. Like, we got it. Yeah, that and, sounded and, just and, like it. It, it did. So, I mean, just go register your kids, get them signed up, uh, tell them they're going. I mean, it's going to be a great weekend. It's not that weekend. It's a Friday night, all day Saturday, uh, Saturday night, and, Sunday morning event. Let me, let me say this too about the Sapa Now. We, we have great host homes. And if you're curious of what a host home is, our kids go and stay in homes during the weekend, yeah. Jake. So, Friday night, Saturday night, they stay at home. And they'll it's have their own transport. We have transportation uh, covered. And, and host homes provide yeah. that. We provide kind of a team approach yeah. that. If you have considered being a host home, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, grab me this Sunday. Uh, we we are probably going to need some more host homes, if nothing else, alternate okay. homes because things happen. So let us know. Let me come talk to me Sunday. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing Fathers in the Field today. If you're here on Sunday morning, this Sunday, we're going to be talking a lot of it. Come talk to me uh, after this. That service. was going to be my next announcement. Why don't you talk about what this Sunday is going to look like and what we're asking for uh, for some men. Well, the big thing is two things. One is we're, we're asking for men who would be willing to disciple and mentor a young fatherless boy. And you'll hear more about that this Sunday, but we're also looking for single moms that would be willing for their son to be in a relationship with a godly man, not to take the place of their daddy by any means, but just that mentoring process, that discipleship process you have with Boston, I have with Springer, that young men need other men to invest in a life. And so you'll hear all about that this Sunday. It's going to be a fun. I, I, I talked to Justin, our missionary who's coming in, heard him speak in San Diego uh, uh, back in September. Jake, it was probably one of the best I remember that. Um, talks I remember. of uh, that we heard. What I remember Diego. most about that is you got to go to San Diego and I didn't. True. 
I, but it was good. So you, you'll you'll want to hear it this Sunday and be a part of that. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I'm just telling you, it's going to be a great Sunday. And I can't wait for them to hear Justin, for y'all to hear Justin uh, on that. What else you got? Buddy? All right, two more things real quick. I got one more thing, too. So. Uh, Wednesday nights is in full swing. Students meeting on Wednesday nights. And then our Kid Venture kids have started back up their rotations. If you've got a Kid Venture kid, kindergarten through fifth grade, you need to make sure Ashley has your email address so you get those email reminders weekly about when it's your kid's turn for their Wednesday night program. And then February 4th, Sunday, we're going to go 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. We're calling it Regroup. Everybody's invited to come back up to the church for coffee, tea, and snacks. And then uh, we're going to get you connected with other people. You're going to get to meet other people. You're going to get to know other people. You're going to hear a vision uh, laid out for what small groups ministry can do for you. And they can also do for our community and give you an opportunity to plug in. That's all I got. So coffee, tea, and snacks. Yeah. What if, what if they want water? Yeah, we'll give you some water. Okay. This one for sure. Yeah. Hey, last thing. And then uh, about five minutes from now, we're going to start to worship. But I do want to keep you up to date on our campaign, our capital campaign to redo our speakers and sound treatment in our auditorium. We're setting about 147000 and change on a $225,000 project. So we're about $75,000 away from being able to complete both of those. Uh, if you have not given to that, or may, maybe you're thinking about doing more than what you've already done, number one, if you've already given, thank you. Uh, if you have not given, uh, every little bit count. It's it's just equal yeah. uh, sacrifice. sacrifice. Not equal, not equal giving, giving, equal sacrifice. And so some people have given 50 grand, some people have given uh, 100 bucks, mm -hmm. and, and it matters. Every little bit matters. So if you're uh, still kind of on the fence or hadn't done that yet, or you're waiting for last year to kind of close out to know what your giving is going to be. That's where we stand. We would love to uh, get that thing moving. Uh, so uh, 147,000, about 75,000, some change away from our goal. So let's, uh, let's get that done. Uh, summit, and that way we can uh, kind of finish that room out. Remember those speakers we take out of this room is going to go to the church plant in Arkansas. So there needs to be some things kind of fall in place for us to be able to get to where we're going to be and bless that church up there. So what else you got, bud? That's, that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, so, hey, about five minutes from now, we're going to worship, share this on your platforms. And, uh, hey, bring somebody with you. Uh, I didn't send out my text last week because of what you were threatening to preach. Yeah, and you didn't want anybody to hear me preach. I get it. Uh, it's Pastors out of town. Don't right. anybody come it's to church. So, but you kept talking don't about Don't anybody all, come to church. Naked and unashamed and I got scared. And so when you start talking about naked and unashamed and then you're going to preach. That's how we were way, created. Don't want if to, you have no idea what we're talking about, go no, back and listen to last week's message. I not want to expose anybody. Yeah. yeah. Hey, five minutes from now, we're going to worship. Glad you're here. If it's Sunday morning, bring somebody with you if you're listening to this during the week. We love you, Summit. Five-minute countdown starts now. Mm -hmm.